Seven Premier League titles with Manchester United. He was captain for six of them, plus two FA Cups. This is his trademark from midfield. Strength. And doing that, he's one of the best you'll find anywhere in the world. Dynamic. Driven. Feared. Fearless. Roy Keane is a legend of the Barclays Premier League. Keane on his return with an absolute humdinger. He joined United from Brian Clough's Nottingham Forest. He came over from Ireland with a, a lot of rough edges and Clough did a lot to polish him up into the, the rough diamond that Ferguson then purchased. So I remember uh, a back pass he once gave me against Crystal Palace in a cup game and he left it short and I come running out my box and miss kicked it. Uh, and the manager blamed Roy and Roy ran off the pitch at the end of the game and the manager was waiting for him and apparently he punched him in the stomach. Clough hit him in the dressing room. Um, and Keane afterwards admitted that in fact he probably deserved it. He bore no malice at all um, and, and learnt from the, the great man, Clough. At Forest in the Premier League's first season, Keane was player of the year in a relegated team. We knew we weren't going to keep hold on to, hold on to Roy because uh, he was too good to be playing in the division below. He had a choice. Uh, well, to start with, he didn't have a choice. There was Blackburn, who were the moneybags of the, the era with Jack Walker's millions. As part of buying a team with Alan Shearer in it as its focal point, they wanted Roy Keane and they'd agreed a fee. So the story goes, he was in Kenny Dalglish's house, in his company, when he got a phone call from Alex Ferguson. Of course, everyone knows that by the time you're in the presence of, of the great manager with those piercing eyes looking at you, um, it's very difficult to say no, and indeed Keane didn't, and he signed for United. I think the manager had actually asked about what, they, what, the, what the older players thought of him. The older players had said, yeah, he's been the best player in the league, and I think you should go and get him, and I think that's one of the reasons the, the, the manager went out and bought him. He doesn't know this, but everybody was buzzing to have him there. We knew that he was, he was a special player, we knew that he loved to have a bit of a moan, uh, but we knew that he could produce the goods week in, week out, and we knew he was a winner. To go out, spend that kind of money on a boy who's barely off the boat from Ireland and has been relegated that season, that tells you they have seen something not just special, but possibly superhuman in him. Big gamble on such a young lad, but it paid off and the perfect signing. We knew, we knew that it would be anyway. But we had no doubts that Manchester United were the right club for him. I think there's nothing worse than arriving at a big club for the biggest of all fees, as it was at the time, and struggling to make an impact, because then I think doubt creeps in. He got off to an absolutely perfect and fantastic start as a Manchester United player, because he scored twice on his home debut against Sheffield United, and instantly took the acclaim of the Manchester United supporters. United need to get the ball down on the floor, love the little flick from Giggs, onside Roy Keane, and the first goal for Manchester United for Roy Keane! on his home Premiership debut. I don't think he ever looked back after that. But he wasn't really one of those players where, you know, well, didn't that help him settle in? He just seemed to find home straight away, had the respect of the other players straight away, and, and was up and running straight away. Balls to Keane! Oh! He's arrived! Well, talk about making a name for yourself in your first game at Old Trafford. And that's what you call being an instant hit. He'd already become an established part of that Manchester United team. He became a real fan's favourite and a hero of the Stretford end when he scored the winner against Manchester City at Main Road. United had played at Galatasaray midweek and been knocked out of Europe. So we went to Main Road and all the Manchester City fans were throwing bars of Turkish delight over the segregated area. They were 2 0 down against their rivals when they, came, when they staged a magnificent comeback 
This was at the height of Eric Cantona's influence in that Manchester United team. He scored twice, but Roy Keane slid in at the far post to score the winner for United. United are asking a lot of questions now. And here's Irwin, and Hughes, and into the net! On the far post by Roy Keane, and United have stolen it! And I sort of pegged it over to Keane, and as I've, as I've gone to jump up to him, uh, he's sort of ducked down and <laughs> I've sort of gone straight over his shoulder and he's caught me around the waist as I've nearly flown over his shoulder and that pulled me back down. He was, he was, it was a bit unpredictable, celebration-wise. I, I think that was, that was the final confirmation that Manchester United had a new favourite sub. That's what Alex Ferguson paid for. Brian Robson was, as midfield players go, was one of my favourites ever. You know, he could get up and down, he could score goals. He defended, he edited, he kicked, he tackled. The ultimate midfield player, really. Keeney came to United because he was. Uh, he, he was probably as close as what we'd already had with Brian Robson. He never made a, a difficult pass but an easy one would do, but he's perfectly capable of making a great pass. He had a tremendous engine, as people say, and he got up and down. He was a great defensive player. I think he would have made a great centre-half because he read the game so well and he's physically so strong and he's such a good tackler. Uh, Alf Inge Harlan may not agree with me, but he was a great tackler. He also got forward and he's a really good finisher. Keane was just a brilliant, brilliant footballer. I would say he's the best player I've ever seen passing the ball 15 yards um, through the gaps in midfield to his strikers. He always looked forward. Um, and he punched those balls in with such pace and ferocity, a world-class performer. I mean, Brian Robson was, was a big one for Manchester United and they couldn't believe that they'd found another player of that ilk. I don't think they have since and it'll be a long, long time before you find one again. We played against him obviously but never really been introduced to him until he came in the dressing room and, and obviously seasons past he's, he's kicked lumps out of every one of us, he's been aggressive, he's argued, he's, he's, he's shouted, he's, uh, and when we walk in the lads are like, do you want to knock us out or do you want to play with us? It's like, how do we take him? I mean, he is a, he's a, a pretty frightening kind of guy, Roy. Um, he was a, a, a tremendous amateur boxer, he clearly likes a row, um, well, you know, let's not hide from that. And certainly, the, you know, players, not, not scared of him, but certainly, you know, were aware of his, his aura. He demanded the best from people around him, and if you didn't, then that's when you actually saw the temper uh, come out in him. <laughs> you used to be commentating on matches, and you'd see off the ball him berating a player, his teammate. But it was only because he knew that player could do better, show better, and he was frustrated. Most amenable people you would meet five days a week, training and then Saturday turn into this 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 beast that had to win. There was one in Europe where we were, we were chasing out, I think we were drawing and we were looking for a winner away from home and I've sort of got the ball on the left and, and I've sort of gone past a couple of people and then I've cut it back to Keane who's, who's side footed it in and scored the winner or put us in the lead and he's sort of come over to me and I'm expecting him to give me a, a big hug and smile and he didn't, he was the most aggressive and he came up to me and he grabbed my shirt like that and I grabbed his shirt and he just shook me and went yeah and just went absolutely nuts, I thought he was going to headbutt me at one point <laughs> he, was, he was so aggressive I could see the passion in him and his eyes had sort of gone and I was like oh my god he's scary scary man <laughs> I think it worked in our favour a lot of the time because I think the opposition were fearful of him I could see it. It didn't matter about the calibre of the opposition or the opponents on the field. He had to play football on the edge and that's the way he played it. Backheader by Butler. Oh, and the team got McAteer. Now what's Uriah Rennie going to do here? He sent Roy Keane off. It's another chapter to the story. Whenever we were out and he was getting a bit... How do I put it nicely? Whenever he was getting a little bit aggressive with people when we were out and he'd had a couple of drinks and it was always Bruce and Robert that came up to me and sort of said Sharpie can you sort your mate out and I'm like well you're the team captain and you're the, one of the aggressive players in the other one of the hardest in the team why do I have to go and sort him out? There aren't many people that have stood up to Roy Keane on a football pitch over the years a few have and have got the, the marks to show it so therefore I think honourable mention goes to the referee David Ellery 
because of the 11 red cards that Keane received in Manchester United's colours. He had 12 in his career, but 11 with United. Four of them were issued by the schoolmaster from Harrow and two of them in FA Cup semi-finals at Villa Park. So he certainly didn't take a backward step where others did. Well, it's his second yellow card and that means Keane is dismissed. I think it's, it's easy to overestimate this anger and this temper. There were flashes of it, but mostly it was grim determination. And let's be honest about that. Um, when he did get the better of him, he tended to get red cards. The rest of the time, I think he was pretty controlled um, and emotionally in charge of himself, albeit highly, highly charged. Just there, watch, bang. Yep. He, want, he wanted to, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Just held it back. All he wanted to do was win. He wanted to win trophies. He was a winner. And Sir Alex Ferguson knew that, and that's why he had him on the pitch. There were occasional times where you could say he let down the team, but I think it's important to remember that there were many, many, many times where he single-handedly dragged Manchester United through. Uh, he's, he's certainly a character, <laughs> to put it nicely. <laughs> Sent off 11 times in his Manchester United <laughs> career, Roy Keane. But... Uh, You'd want him in your side, that's for sure.